gamers all around the world. Today, we have come to Abacid. Just like with the other civs, I spent a little bit of time playing only Abacid and kind of trying to figure out where the Abacid spot is at right now in the game. I do want to start off by saying that I do think Abacid is a good civ. I do think that at, at any level, Abacid is viable. I don't think it's like terrible civ. I don't think it's like massively disadvantaged. And if you can like get the boom going, whether you're a 2TC, 3TC, whatever, if you can get boom going and then you go into like composite arrows, um, stuff like that, it's a very, very strong civ. Late game in Imperial, you have camels that give armor to your infantry. You have culverins, you have trade that gives you wood or food as well. So I think Abbasid as a as a sieve is a very good sieve. So if you're losing with it, you're not losing because it's shit. But that being said, at the very tippity top level, Abbasid struggles a lot. And this is why. Uh, it, it's very simple. It's nothing complicated. It is too slow. And I've talked about this on my stream before. Abbasid is just too slow of a sieve. Uh, other sieves can be played like two or one tc two tc castle rush and stuff like that i've also attempted abbasid castle rushing but i feel like at that point if you're rushing castle with abbasid with one tc you might as well just play ayubid because that's more of an ayubid thing and then they're you know they have camels camel lancers which are stronger than the abbasid lancers um they have the dervish which are cavalry uh, religious units so they can pick up relics faster so if you want to do one TC Abbasid, you might as well just play Ayobid, because I feel like that fits them more. So in order to play Abbasid, you need to go 2 or 3 C, 2 or 3 TC, which at high level is just too slow of a tempo. Right now we are in the meta where some civs do go 2 TC, and then they, you know, they, they can either try to fight in feudal or age up to cast super fast. The problem is with Abbasid is if you go to TC and then try to age up fast, you cannot speed up your age up process, right? Because you, you know, that's the house of wisdom and that's an advantage and a disadvantage sometimes. And in this case, because you cannot age up super quickly, if the enemy rushes castle and then starts going like uh, knights or, or men at arms, you might be in trouble. And it feels like you're always playing on the defensive as Abbasid because it lacks, it severely lacks offensive options early on. So whenever you're playing against Abbasid, doesn't matter what city you're playing, you're always the one attacking the Abbasid and not the other way around. You don't have to worry about them. It's all good. And for that reason, Abbasid is not really played at the top level as much. Not because it's necessarily a bad civ. It's simply they, they, there's like small timings that the enemies attack you and you just die. And the reason why I say this is a, like a problem at high level and not, like, not lower leagues is because Players in lower leagues don't know how to, you know, abuse that weakness and maybe hit those timings quite, quite as well. So, um, but if you manage to get out of that feudal early castle, uh, the save is obviously very, very good. There's so many eco bonuses uh, and the units are pretty strong, but that's kind of the, the point. So with that being said, let's talk about buffs, nerfs, and what saves it counters and, and what it gets countered by. So the civs that, that uh, in my opinion, counter Abbasid pretty well. Like, Jean d'Arc is a pretty good civ. Any civ that can force Abbasid to fight in feudal for prolonged periods of time, but they have some kind of armored unit, is not good for Abbasid. So for example, English is a very good counter to Abbasid because Abbasid goes to TC, English attacks. As Abbasid is getting ready to defend, finally, there's men at arms are coming and even if you make camels against men at arms the longbows will pick them up so english is a very good counter jean d'arc is a very good counter because jean d'arc can force abbasid to fight and abbasid can't really deal with that as well as some of the other civs and any kind of super fast like rushing castle type of civs can do pretty well um, now, Abbasid can outboom some civs because you can always make million TCs more with Eco Wing than, than some of the other ones. But in general, because you're always playing on the defensive, it feels like you have to. In a way, it's never an even game. Like the only way that, that the game becomes favored for you is if the opponent attacks you and makes some massive mistake or overcommits. If they rush castle, they'll probably be able to take relics. So it always feels like, yeah, I got this TC, but they're doing like all these things and kind of snowballs. Delhi is also very good against Abbasid. 
Now, if you manage to defend, like let's say you go 2TC and the enemy rushes castle and you manage to defend that, then you're in a way better spot because you're gonna outscale him quite, quite heavily. But again, there's always that, that kind of risk. Now, what would I nerf about Abbasid? What would I buff about Abbasid? Um, I suggested this a long time ago, but uh, one thing that could be buffed for Abbasid, fresh food stuffs can, could be put on a mill, okay? So instead of having to uh, uh, lose a villager to upgrade fresh food stuffs, if you put fresh food stuffs on a mill, then suddenly Abbasid has one extra worker, you know, five, six, six, thirty uh, minutes into the game, which is not a massive buff, but it's something, right? It, it's something. So that's something they can do, and it's also kind of feels weird to stop worker production just to get that upgrade. Um, other than that, some of the stuff they could do is perhaps add uh golden ages in between like first and second maybe or or second and third where it buffs the weaker part of abyssin so just a random example right i'm not saying this is exactly what they should add but instead of having to build like billion houses for golden age 2 maybe golden age 2 or in between golden age 1 and 2 there should be another one and maybe it can give like two camels right like two camel archers just something to help them in feudal right and this is specifically like something that would help them in feudal but also help them a little bit with dealing with castle rushes so that's something they could do now camel archers could receive a buff and it could potentially solve a lot of the problems if camel archers were a bit better at dealing damage they could deal with castle men at arms a bit better or if they just had more hp so they're more tanky so you can actually fight with them in feudal or they could reduce the cost because i think they're way too expensive for what they do and the fact that they're available in feudal and they're that expensive it just doesn't really make sense making them as units unless you just want one or two for debuff so there you know there's a couple of routes that they could be buffing abyssid i think like military wing is, is cool and all but the problem is with abyssid and feudal all the other civs have like attack speed strong at uh civs in feudal age they have attack speed they have you know jean d'arc they have knights they have uh, uh men at arms and then abbasid they have camel archers that are not really made that much uh if at all in feudal and then they have the boot camp which is hp upgrade and hp upgrade is cool and it's good and that's all fine but the problem is the hp upgrade versus attack speed you will always want the attack speed right because more attack speed means more dps so it kind of negates the health now one of the things that could be done to in my opinion potentially fix abbasid is if composite bows were moved to feudal age and boot camp was moved to castle age so what would that do that would give you strong timings in castle with boot camp with extra hp on all your infantry but composite bows in feudal maybe even with like some slight number nerf that's fine would give their archers attack speed so that they can also fight against other civs in feudal and by archers having attack speed then they can also deal better with castle rushing civs you know if you're stuck with like 30 archers and men at arms are coming you're not just like doing jack shit there you know the attack speed will actually obviously they're not going to do a lot of damage but they will do a lot better so that's something that i think would be the easiest fix for abyssid uh giving them composite bows in the military wing and then if you're like yo i'm gonna fight in feudal or i'm gonna be the aggressor then you have a an upgrade that gives your archers attack speed that you can actually get value from and and you know you can fight and you don't feel disadvantaged compared to the um, to the other sips that's kind of it um i think trade with abyssid is still good if you can pull it off like boom uh, abyssid versus other boom sips is great if you leave abyssid alone they can out boom you for sure but against these some of the more aggressives that kind of go all out i would say it's pretty pretty rough another thing they could do by the way is make the culture wing instead of it being an upgrade i would like to see personally is that their culture wing is cheaper 20 percent right like with the upgrade you have now from the culture wing but then when you upgrade the the thing in the house of wisdom the culture wing uh, i don't know what's it called the, the little book um thing then it reduces all your other upgrades by 20 percent too so there's a lot of stuff they could help abyssid without making them broken just you know help them in, in in that area where they need preservation of knowledge yeah 
So they could make it so that age up for Abbasid is 20% cheaper if you go with Culture Wing. But once you get Preservation of Knowledge, all your other upgrades are also 20% cheaper. So that's just an idea. That's going to be it, YouTube gamers. Thank you for watching. Check me out on Twitch. I'm probably live right now. Not probably aging up with Abbasid. But tune in. Check out the live stream. Twitch gamers.